Good morning. Well, we're coming towards the end of Exodus. And as we approach the end of Exodus, we find God telling Moses to set up the tabernacle. We find him telling, the, judging the people and how they, or their organization, their society shows should be run. Different rules applying to different things. You can read the book of Exodus and you'd be surprised by how these rules are working out in their particular lives. Then God says to Moses, I have set within the camp different people with different talents. And as you go to set up this tabernacle, and as you go to put in the ark, and as you go to do all of these things, I have set in the camp people with the talents to actually do it, to do the carvings, people with artistic abilities. Now, I think we can learn from this. Because within the church of the present day, God has put many different talents. And if we want to do something in the church, we must simply ask God, Lord, you told us to do something. Now you need to give us the people to actually do it. Where are the people with the talents to be able to do what it is that you're asking? See, very often I think the church makes a mistake. It feels somehow that it has to do something. So instead of praying to God and asking God what he wants to do, they all get together and they say, we should do something. Then somebody comes up and says, well, this isn't something we can do, and brings forward an idea. And they say, well, if we're doing that, at least we won't be standing still. So let's just do it. And suddenly they find they don't have the people with the ability to do it. They don't have the talent that they need at that particular time. They don't have the talent because God has not asked for that to be done. But if God asks for something to be done, he will also provide the talent for the doing of it. Just like he said to Moses when he told him to build this particular tabernacle, I expect Moses set out the design of it and explained everything that God had shown him on the mountain and how it could be done. And then God said to Moses, and what is more, I have put into the camp people with a talent to be able to do it. Search them out, find out where they are, and enable them to actually do the work that I've given you. Now, I know that in my own ministry, I've often had to sit back, and I've seen a problem arising within the parish for which I've been responsible. And I've had to come before God and say before God, quite simply, I think this is something that we have to do. This is something we have to deal with. And if I felt in my own heart a confirmation from God that this was so, I would then say, before I do anything about this, you need to give me the talents I need in order for it to be done. I, I, I remember uh, believing at one time that the God wanted to change the very worship of the church. He wanted to set up a different type of worship, a worship which was far more informal. Yes, the Eucharist, that would be right at the center of our worship. But as for the uh, singing and the things that went on around it, well, we needed a different form of music than we had in the church. And I said, this is, I think, the way you want us to go. And I had the confirmation that this was so. Then I said to God, well, now, Lord, you need to give me the talents that I need to do it because we can't do it without the talents. If we certainly do it without the people able to lead in this way, uh, it's going to become completely chaotic. And I remember I prayed for several months about this when suddenly somebody turned up and they said, we just moved to the town. We're just coming into the town. I said, great, come. If you want to come and be part of us, come and be part of us. And when they came, I said, well, what is your particular talent? And they said, well, we can play instruments. I said, wonderful. Thank you, Lord. You've put into the church the talent that the church needs at this particular time. Similarly, I remember on one occasion, the treasurer coming to me and he had resigned. I don't know why he was moving away or something. I can't remember what it was. But the treasurer had, had gone. And he came to me and he presented his books in front of me. Now, um, it's not my talent to keep an accurate accounting in this way, but I, need an ac I knew an accurate accounting was needed. 
I said, Lord, you need to give me somebody who can take on this particular role and do it properly. Lord, put into somebody or bring somebody into the church with this particular talent. And again, within a short period of time, somebody emerged with this talent and looked after the books perfectly year after year. I never had to worry about it again. I just had to accept the fact that the job has been done properly. You know, in the church, if God tells us to do something, but rather, first of all, remember, we have a need. We think we, we are here before God and we want to do what God wants. We pray about it. We find that God says, this is what I want you to do. Then we have to pray to God and say, if that's what you want us to do, then you must give us the talent to actually do it. The person who is able to look after the youth, the person who is able to look after the elderly, the person who is able to do the pastoral work, the person who is able to organize the prayer groups, the person who is able to do the Bible studies, whatever it is, ask God for the talent. Because if God is asking you to do something, he will have put the talent into your midst. Amen.